winter classic time. Absolutely. Heading to Rockfish, is it Speedway? Rockfish Speedway. Rockfish Speedway. First appearance there this year, right, Ryan? Yeah, I have been. I almost went to one of them, but I uh, couldn't get some help lined up for, because it's two and a half hours away, so it's kind of out there, but hopefully, hopefully everything goes well. I've got my free unpaid help here. <laughs> so hopefully the car stays together. Hopefully the pit bike stays together. I was in charge of tying that thing down and I'm not I'm not positive it's upright at the moment, but I guess we'll find out when I we unload so. at the racetrack. So here's to that. Fueling up for the big thousand to win race. I've been to a lot of racetracks all across the country. This very well might be the most remote drive of all of them to get to one. What do you think, Grace? We haven't passed a bathroom in forever. No. So y'all can fill in the blank there. But um, uh. still in route. Wait in line to get pit passes. What's up, man? Doing all right? Doing good. How about you? I'm good. What's up? What's up? I'm just playing all the GA people. Like, five. Rockfish Speedway, Thousand to Win, it's the Winter Classic. Um, this is a kind of a big race in the area. There's a lot of cars here. And um, I think it's the 10th annual one, so it's been going a while. And um, we got the racetrack here. The track surface is kind of gritty. It's not really what I've raced on this year, and it seems to be kind of mostly around the bottom, which maybe my pavement experience will kind of transfer to some speed. We'll see. But um, Regardless, sun's setting and uh, driver's meeting should be any time now.
Welp, I made it home. It's pretty late now. Um, that sucked, but, um, you know, it just goes to show how humbling the sport can be, I guess you'd say. Um, to drive two and a half hours somewhere and think that I um, did everything I could to prepare the race car the way it needed to be and, um, you know, unfortunately just run into problems. Um, at this point in time, I'm not really sure what's wrong with it. The fuel pump was brand new for that race. So were the spark plugs. Um, did all my other normal maintenance, but definitely had some sort of issue, unfortunately. And, um, you know, it's just, it, it's tough. Like, you'll think you're doing a good job. You think you're um, starting to make some headway and then you get knocked right back down. But, um, you know, it's part of it, I guess. And it's been a brutal year. I'll just be honest with you. Just the amount of luck we've had. We, we've had no luck. I mean, that's, that's been it. Um, and then just a lot of stuff has gone wrong, but, um, Hoping for a better 2024. I, that's probably going to be our season just because um, we only had one more race left. And that was going to be Mountain Creek in two days. And at the time of making this, I, I don't see a way to get there because I, I don't know what our problem is. So I don't know how big of a fix it's going to be or not. So, but regardless, um, hopefully, you know, it can go both ways in this sport. So hopefully there's a point in time where we all look back on how I'm feeling in this video right here and think that things have swung the other direction and I'm glad that I didn't give up. But um, my plans are super uncertain for next year, but hoping to see you guys back again soon. Thank you for all the support this year. It's been completely overwhelming just how big all of my social medias have blown up this year. I had no idea people would care that much about micro sprint racing and um my point of view of things i tried to kind of give a new perspective from the driver's seat and then kind of started the later in the season to share my thoughts on things uh in full length videos but the support has meant a tremendous amount and thank you all for uh making everything what it is i'll see you guys soon